Hey, Patterson Park Church family, Pastor Joey here. I want to come to you today with our pastor video and read from the text that Pastor Joe will be preaching from this week. I'm going to read the text from my phone because I accessed it through the PPC app that you can get uh, at any app store. And I'm reading it right off the Family Worship Guide. What's the Family Worship Guide? I'm so glad you asked. Family Worship Guide is a document that we put out every week that has the text of this coming week's sermon on it. And it also has a few questions for you as mom or dad or older brother or sister uh, to lead your family in listening to and responding to the text uh, for that week, to the sermon for that week. So we'd encourage you to download the app if you haven't, to get the Family Worship Guide if you haven't, and to use it to prepare yourselves either in leading up to the sermon or in response to what God has taught your family on Sunday morning. The Family Worship Guide is called Family Worship Guide because it's meant for the family of God, not only for families. So if you're an individual or single or anything like that, we still encourage you to use the Family Worship Guide on our app. Let's go ahead and read the text this week. Uh, Mark 3, 7 through 21. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea, and a great crowd followed from Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and Idumea, and from beyond the Jordan and from around Tyre and Sidon. When the great crowd heard all that he was doing, they came to him, and he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, lest they crush him. For he had healed many, so that all who had diseases pressed around him to touch him. And whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God! And he strictly ordered them not to make him known. And he went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Bonergus, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Then he went home, and the crowd gathered again, so that they could not even eat. And when his family heard, they went out to seize him, for they were saying, He is out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem were saying, He's possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he casts out the demons. And he called them to him and said to them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but is coming to an end. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, unless he first binds the strong man. Then, indeed, he may plunder his house. Truly I say to you, all sins will be forgiven, the children of man, and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they were saying, he has an unclean spirit. So, I encourage you to come this Sunday or tune in on the live stream to hear Pastor Joe as he leads us through that text. And I also want to make you aware of something exciting coming up on April 17th. Our men's ministry has a one-day conference Saturday morning that will include lunch. Um, It is Building a Legacy into the Next Generation, a one-day men's conference. This is for young men 16 years of age or older. And uh, all the men in our church or any guys that you know that you'd like to invite uh, from your job or neighborhood or things like that, you can register for this online on our website. And it is April 17th. 2021 from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We hope that you can make it out for that as we focus on leaving a godly legacy for those behind us. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you later.